Uh, okay, this is just a zero de Niro quickie um, for a problem that I'm sure uh, everyone's encountered at some point uh, in regards to rechargeable power tools. Some of you might remember this from one of my earlier videos as the useless one, uh, an impact wrench, which is virtually no talk, but, uh, but it's okay for uh, uh, small jobs. However, it's 10 years old now. Um, this battery and the second battery that came with it and the uh, <coughs> one hour charger which is here. Uh, the charger is still good but however both batteries are dead. Um, they are uh, just, just giving up the ghost. Uh, I've tried all the tricks to uh, I could find on YouTube and on the web has to try and restore the batteries um, but it's done nothing. Uh, the batteries are 10 years old and it's it's well past the sell by date. Um, so I opened one of them. Uh, this one, in fact, I opened it up. I, this one, as you can see, is pretty light, really hollow now. And the battery pack looks like this. This is what it came out of the battery looking like. So it's been wet, it's got damaged, it's leaked, or it's something. And no doubt some of the cells are still in pretty good condition. Uh, but it's just not worth it. Uh, I tried buying new ones. A, but each one was like eighty dollars each or sixty dollars each, depending where you're going, and with substantially less amp power than the originals. Uh, these twenty-four volt batteries, by the way. So what I decided to do was not spend sixty to eighty dollars uh, on a new battery, and I need two that were compatible with the uh, twenty-four hour charger. So I thought I would modify these units um, some way to still make them usable because it still works uh, it's along with the 24 24 volt drill which still uses the same battery charger though a different battery so what I did was I rather than spending $80 uh, on one battery I <coughs> I made this what this is is um, it's just a Four dollar box from Waldo's, or uh, whatever you want to call it, or whatever your dollar store is. I bought two, twelve, the cheapest twelve volt motorcycle batteries I could find. Uh, these aren't sufficient to start a motorcycle; they're just the continuous cycle ones, twelve volt, three amp hour each, which is very, very small, uh, but it's sufficient for the for the uh, what I need them. Um, what I did was connect them in series, so they are factoring a 24 volt um, through a 20 amp switch, which is here. So, as you can see, these have been embraced inside the box via screws and washers on the outside with a scrap metal from the old scrap metal bin. Um, then they were connected through through the switch, through this battery, and out this through this funnel connector. Funnel jack connector, which is a uh, something that we use to connect to electric guitars. Um, uh, the reason I chose this because I had a thread on it. Then of course I used a speaker wire. I heard nothing about, which is not ideal, by the way. But it's the only thing I had. And I put males on either end, like this. And the males. go in here and that screws on there like that to keep it safe and the batteries here I did I took the battery off I hollowed it out as you can see there and fitted a connector to the back of it uh, with a piece of stick inside uh, which is <laughs> shaved down with the grinder to measure exactly between here and here with a piece of copper pipe flattened out on either side, there's two separate pieces of copper pipe, one on either side, soldered to the connections on here. And then this goes in here, like this. And then what we do is, is we take this cable, you can see where this is going. This goes in here like this. Uh, and then through this switch which is on here, turn it on, and then we have we have power. Uh, not only do we have power, we have 
considerably more torque as well um, because even though in theory these batteries give out more torque than these ones these are like I don't know like 10 amps or something like that in, in total this one just because it's continuous and it doesn't die instantly uh, is, is far more workable um, the power of the, 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 the impact hammer is essentially the same um, but its endurance is significantly improved uh, I can now use it um, for long periods of time without the battery is dying uh, and the same goes for the drill here which as you can see has exactly the same connector and as you can see there's no power if I take this stuff it in here excuse me and the reverse switches on both of them that's exactly the same way and to prove it to us it's powering it Uh, works a treat. Yeah, it's a pain in the ass that they are no longer truly wireless uh, or cordless drills, but they have actually been just uh, reduced to being portable as opposed to cordless. But they work a treat, uh, especially the power drill, which can just go forever. Uh, since making this little thing, the uh, uh, doing this since making this, I've never recharged the batteries, and I've used them both considerably. Uh, and to recharge the battery is extremely simple. Um, I am installing uh, a charging circuit, a very, very simple charging circuit. This is just going to be a plug light, like one of these here. And then there will be uh, cables from uh, both 12 volt sides. Uh, positive, 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 negative, negative. And then I will just attach it to a standard charger, uh, battery charger, 12 volt battery charger, which will charge both batteries at the same time. Yeah, the let's charge it here. <laughs> Oops, I'm going to um, the amperage charge amperage is cut in half. It doesn't really matter. It's just leave it for 12 hours, and they charge normally. Um, both fully charged normally, um, and it, it it just works great. I don't know if anybody's uh, interested in following such an idea, but um, it really did save the day. The, including the box and the batteries, uh, the connectors and stuff, it cost me about $40? No, that's a lie. It cost me about $60 for everything. So for the price of one battery, uh, I've got four because each one, uh, each device had uh, two batteries and they had a cost $60 to $80 each. You can get the super cheap $30 ones, um, but it's finding the, the right uh, format that will fit exactly inside the drill or the impact wrench um, that's difficult uh, I bought one uh, just one for the drill it was run flat in like nine minutes or something and it took more than a day to charge and it had no torque you could literally just grab the chuck of the drill very light handed and it would stop and the batteries got very very hot so I, 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 I sent it back and got my money back uh, but this thing it's just lasted it just lasts really well of course I can keep all my bits the cables inside the little box of course has got the usual bits and bobs uh, drawers and stuff to keep little tools in drill bits and such yeah but it works great um, so just one more time the charge uh, the recharge when it's connected here when I have another connector um, will be one side minus one side minus the other side plus the other side plus uh, just connect it up one of these Put it to the battery charger and it will charge both sides at the same time. So there you go, um, it works very well. You save the day, um, save me throwing away two perfectly good tools uh, which have now extended their life considerably. And of course, this little power unit here uh, can be used to, to power other things.